Hey yo, it's your boy Mike Green here, the motherfucking place to be, and this is motherfucking Cloud TV, episode two, Halloween Havoc, Thrasher Teasy B Day Edition. Teasy, Feel nigga, me. what's up, Teasy? Nigga? <laughs> Let's sir, get it. Sir. Let's go. I take it to y'all as far as the spot, man, because the spot was fucking dope, man. Like I don't know about y'all. We had a great time up in there, man. Like those gentlemen are doing their thing. Yes, sir. Like seven yes, young minds sir. that are able to come together and start a business. Yes, sir. That's a beautiful thing. And the fact that they want to give back to the community and share and expand and grow, it's just it's just wonderful, man. I was I'm grateful for us to be able to bring in our first episode with those guys, man. Shout out to the spot, man. Shout out to Jimmy, Chong, and Doku, man. You know what I'm saying? There's more of them as well, but those are the ones that was there with us on the episode. But let, let me know how y'all felt about the episode, man. I want to hear, I want to get y'all input because we've been so busy. We really haven't got a chance to really talk about the first episode. And I felt like this would be a good time, you know, fresh in our minds, so, you know, get y'all perspective on how it went. Oh, shit, nigga, man. We got a whole lot of good feedback, man. Shout out everybody who Got them took their time out to got them view the first episode and got them comment, like, and subscribe to the jump, man. Biggest shout out to all the fans out there, man. I hope we gave y'all a good show, man. We about to get y'all a whole bunch more, man. Y'all stay tuned. Cloud TV. Yeah, man. Cloud TV, man. Shout out to Rio's bag, man. He killed that shit, man. And shout out to all these businesses, man, that's out here getting it. Shout out to the spot. They were doing some mad dope shit. If you haven't seen their clothes yet, go check them out. Plus, they got some expiring books in there. Go ahead and go in there, take a time out. Go ahead and sit down and read some shit. Man, they got some dope shit going on, man. Shout, shout out to the spot, man. We appreciate shout y'all. Out to the spot, shout out to oh, the spot, man. Yeah. Spot RVA, man. Seven West Broad, man. Y'all go check them out. November 7th. When they, when they, when they uh, officially open, I believe it's uh, November 7th. November right? 7th. November 7th. Please go check those young brothers out. They are very, very, very wise. Very wise. Yes, sir. I, I love that I got to meet them. Hell oh, yeah, man. But but hey Damien, I ain't gonna lie though, the YouTube nation is coming at you yes, for your sir. comments on Wiz. I'm gonna give you a moment just to, you know what I'm saying, if you wanna get anything off your chest, cause they talking kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? We know where you was coming from. Yeah. But you know, I'm gonna give you that platform just to, you know, talk your shit real quick. Yeah, not 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 too much fire, I would say, came my way. I mean, it was, it was, I, I'll say I'll counter it because it it did make it seem like I came at Wiz and Currency. And I did I did correct it. I, I never came at Currency in any kind of way. Currency is somebody that I personally love to listen to when I'm getting money as well. That is a that's a brother that's that stayed the path. But in my opinion, Wiz has fell off musically in some aspects. Financially, not a problem. Not a problem at all. Um, still a still a very, very wise brother as well. He's somebody I would love to chill with. Maybe pick his brain a little bit, but you know, I'll I'll let the cloud, you know come out and, 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 and tell me how y'all feel about it you know take it to the cloud and that's why we appreciate the cloud man and shout out now i mean the comment who led to get them damien had to prove his point out here shout out to xavier that comment we're gonna shout you out man we're gonna come at you let yeah. you know what we're talking about man so and I, I did like that comment as well because i understand that music is subjective it very much so is you know some yes, people sir. Started listening to music at one point, others started at another point. Don't make it any less relevant, you know? So I love that that brother can, can voice his opinion. I'm about to grab it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I was about to ask T how you felt about Gotta make a quick audible. Omaha, <laughs> Omaha, Omaha. <laughs> Blue 42. But hey, yo, while Tony's doing that, See. I wanna apologize to everybody real quick because um, I've, I've been making a mistake lately. I've been making a big mistake. Fucking up. Lately, <laughs> I don't need a cosign on this, man. <laughs> All right, so look, man. Every time we get together, record, any, whatever we got to do for the platform, man, I always lose my lighter. And I always blame everybody. I'll be like, hey, yo, hey, cuz, 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 what you lighting that shit with? Hey, yo, 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 that's a blue joke? Hey, yo, yo, let me get that. Let me run that back. Whole time, my couch be eating my lighter. So I just want to apologize to my niggas on the platform and let you know it wasn't y'all. It was me. When y'all was looking at me like I was a fucking fool, I understand now. That couch is a motherfucker. But if y'all want to drag me right now, y'all can go ahead. I'm going to give it up to y'all real quick just to let me know how I was fucking up. Nigga. Or you don't have to. We can go to the next topic. Nah, man. But this nigga right here, though. But I can't really blame him because if it ain't in his cushion, it's probably in my pocket. So, 
So this nigga do be thieving. See? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a natural reaction. Yeah, man, that shit a natural yeah, reaction. Y'all niggas tell people, dog. Like, yo. See, that's what I get for trying to admit my wrongs on this platform. That's, that's what happened. I seen that get shined on that shit. See, I, I fucked man, up. Blue lighter ain't mine. I know for a fact. Blue or black? It ain't mine. <laughs> like, it's red lighter right here? It ain't mine. <laughs> Whose is it? Let me have this, cuz. I might need it for the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine, cuz. Switch. See? See? You what see what I'm talking about? See, it's my black lighter. <laughs> <laughs> man, shout out to all the lighter thieves yeah. out, man, man. That no, dude, no, why did I just Yeah, say? yeah, that nigga said, yeah. <laughs> shout out to all the lighter thieves out there that be getting it in, you know what I mean, with the Bix. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we doing, you know what I mean? Shout out to the Bix, man. If you're still in lighters, let us know in the comments, yo. Just let us know. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody let us know. You still in white. Jack and Nickers for they flames. <laughs> Put that shit in the comments. Put that shit in the comments, man. Like playing, like literally, how was it playing football? Because I can never really play. I played football, but like only a couple of years. But like, how was it to just be like literally, you know what I mean, in collegiate level playing football, yo? Like for real. Like, how was it, yo? I mean, that shit was okay yeah. to a certain extent. The only reason I say that, I'm not gonna act like I'm, you know, it's not easy to, to play collegiate ball, but it's like. Not at all. It, it just gets to a point where when you get to that level, it's, it's, it's more about politics, believe it or not, because you're, you're recruited by a coach, came to your house, told you you're about to get everything, you got to go to the league, whatever whatever hoop dream they sell you, because it's hoop dream, regardless. You can be the number one prospect, they're going to sell you some shit that you probably ain't going to do. But it's just, it's just like high school was more about the love of the game and just passion, you know, just, just the thrill. Now, every, every program is probably not like that as far as my personal experience is, is probably different than other athletes, but as far as the program that I played for, it's more political, but don't get it twisted. You're playing against the best. Like once you get on that gridiron, it's not like high school where you're elite, you know, I'm the best player on the team. Everybody on your team was the best player on their team. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna pass it off to Rio because you know, I can, I can talk about this, but we play different positions. So I want to get his perspective as well. Damn right now, I'm glad you brought up that goddamn fact that, you know what I'm saying, that you can play at high school at any level you give it. But you know what I'm saying, once you get to college, like everybody on that same slate, nigga, everybody was good. So basically, it's just like starting off at high school again. Man. But overall, your question, man, playing overall, man, like, I tell you something you ain't never gonna forget, dog. I, I put it, I, I tell you that damn much, man. They, they, they go bad you don't think about the best play you made you don't think about the worst yes, play sir. you made you don't think about the most embarrassing time you don't think about the time the crowd was standing up cheering your goddamn name man like you'll think about all that shit man it's a gift man the curse you know what i mean okay. the only curse is that you had to stop playing you know what I mean? me and rio go to the game tape all the time we was watching odu a couple weeks ago like you remember that shit in the first quarter mind you this was like what 10 years ago y'all play odu yeah. yeah, we played in their first they year. First year coming. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, not to interrupt, but what, what positions did y'all play? So I played, I played offense and defense. I played nose guard on defense, and I played fullback on offense. 
So yeah. I just got, I just got in where I could fit in. You know what I'm saying? Some weeks I'm, I'm feeling ISO. Some weeks I'm rushing the quarterback. It just all depends where they wanted to use. Yeah. That was outside linebacker. Yeah, so you was out there like. Nah, don't get it twisted. He's the smallest linebacker on the field, but he's hitting like he's the biggest. Yeah, like, like pound for pound, pound for pound. This is the best player I ever played with, and that's no boost. I play with niggas that's been to the league. Multiple players that's been to the league. Players I played against on the other side. But pound for pound, what I saw this man do on the field, man. Like, hey yo, salute. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Appreciate that shit, man. Make us a union too, man. Union is school, yeah. not the coaches on that. But football is cool. You know what was lit though? Homecoming. Oh, yes, sir. We was on that field, but we couldn't wait to get off the field to party. Oh yeah, but to answer your question, please, if you want to bring homecoming to it, yeah, home you want to play football and going to homecoming, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. And all the lights on your ass, and then goddamn all the parties right after. It's <laughs> like we got to win, right, so we can get in the club for free. We probably on the age, so we got to drink. You know what I'm saying? So we got to make sure we can do that too. You know what I mean? It's a lot of moving factors in this homecoming shit. It's not about playing. Yeah. <laughs> Damn right. That whole year, that whole week, that whole shit is dedicated to seeing that game and seeing your ass yeah. out there. You got some cheeks lined up. If you lose, you probably ain't going to get them the high quality cheeks. You got high, mid, and low. The low, you already know you're going to get. The mid, you know what I mean? That high, you got to win. Actually, you got to probably got to dub these niggas yeah, to get you, that. You, you know what I mean? You got to show out and probably break an 82 yard run against. And like they gotta that. call your name when the mother the announcer gotta say your name at least two, three oh, times. Yeah, I heard right. your name. I heard you making Dude, plays. Boy. I used to love that shit. Every time I got a talk, I used to love that shit. I used to call my name. I couldn't even, you know, don't look up, just keep on walking. You know, to keep on walking to the side of the field. Like, yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> you know it. Like, yes, yeah, sir. Be yeah, lined back up again with the same energy, bro. Yeah. I'm talking about with the same old energy. So, it's right. smack. Boom. Ah, oh, shit. So y'all ball? Y'all ballers too? I mean, I played one year. Nah, y'all gotta fill I me in, dog. Years. I played two years. I played oh. two years. I played two years. Where? 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who, 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 who I was played first? two years at. Yeah, played, hold on. I played a year at Dallas High School, and then fucked up. Uh, my second year, I fucked up my shoulder on a punt return. I'm Damn. talking about when I tore when I tore the dude up, man. I tore him up. Bro. I'm talking about I was hit him, came up like that. Bam! I hit him so hard, I scoop, fucked scoop. up my shoulder. Leave. I had a, as soon as I, as soon as I hit him, I felt it. I took off my helmet and everything, walked off. Took off, he was like, bro, what you doing? Coach, like, what you doing? I'm like, cuz I'm hurt. Like, cuz, <laughs> oh, I'm hurt right now. Like, he was like, man, what you talking about? You just took off your helmet. I'm like, cuz, I'm hurt, man. I don't care what you talking about, bro. Like, I got to sit down. <laughs> now, were you I hurt or were you game. injured? I swear to God, I did. I ain't. Were what you did? hurt or were you injured? I was injured, bro. I thought, oh, uh, oh, okay. Because I, I waited out to the end of the game. I was like, bro, I gotta sit down. I, I can't even, I can't even play no more. Like I told him, I was like, being one hundred. I'm just, I was like, I can't even play no more. I'm hurt. Yeah. But my mama and nobody went there, so I was like, nigga, I can't. I gotta wait till the end of the game. So we go to the motherfucker. I get picked up. We go to the motherfucking doctor or something. So I'm like. Shit. That's when you get your little jump, the ice yeah. you up after the game. Yeah, you know, you know, I went to the doctor, they was like, yeah, you sprung your shit. I'm like, I'm sprung. I'm like, this bitch is broke. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely made your neck go. That, that jump going at a high pace like that, man, yeah, it definitely would feel like my last time playing well, But that. you was out there, though. Yeah, I was definitely out there. I was Teasy. any nigga, too, bro. I'm mad, bro. <laughs> Teasy. What did you, you play? All right, so <laughs> in middle school, I played running back. You know what I mean? And then in uh, high school, I played running back. So that's all I played. And I used to fuck with like Emmitt Smith, so I, I, wrote, I wore the 22. I was always a 22 Dude, still. Yeah, I fucked with 22, you know what I'm saying? But like, I got mad jerseys, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Priest Holmes was definitely, in high school, was my favorite running back. Like, you know what I'm saying? My favorite player, like, I fucked with him and Steve Smith. You know what I'm saying? Like I've always been a Panthers fan, but yeah, I played I played on um, um, kick return. Ooh! Shout out special team. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. That became the game. Hey man, it was crazy yes, though because it was like my fault, my fault. <laughs> but it was like, like I don't know, like I was so rebellious in school. You know what I mean? So it was like 
before before the season started from trials, like I got a, like a, a, I fucked my fucking pelvis up, like doing some um, like BMX shit, like you know what I'm saying, you know, some dirt jump shit, you know what I'm saying. I'll be on some dirt jump shit in the in the like we made like dirt jumps in the fucking woods and shit. You feel me? So we would take our BMX bikes and like basically put like dirt tires on the front and mm-hmm. just have like yeah, street it. tires and we would just like jump, make jumps and like jump them, like get air. Like you know what I mean? So I fucked up and like from skating and shit too. You know what I'm saying? Like I fucked my pelvis up. So like or am I Achilles? So Damn, like sometimes, yeah. yeah, like I would just like <laughs> drop. Prone, so when I was growing up, I was I was going injury on prone. Fantasy. I didn't drink milk because I was like those intolerant. So I always Damn. fuck shit up. But I, I would always go. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just like the fuck that shit. Like it ain't gonna stop me. You know what I mean? I didn't drink lactose milk until fucking college. No bullshit. Until motherfucking my freshman year in college, yo. <laughs> I mean, it made me not like like obliterate myself and feel crazy. But yeah, like, I don't know. So like, I went to tr- the tryouts, right? And when I went to tryouts, it was like, like the coach, you know what I'm saying, was a teacher, so I knew him. And he was just like, yo, like, basically like, all right, yeah, I told him, like, you know what I'm saying? When I pulled up, I was like, yo, my pelvis is hurt, but I'll be good in a little bit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just like, let me just like chill and shit. And he was just like, nah. Like, you can't be on the team, and I was like, yeah, I got pissed off. Yeah, right. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, fuck that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to play, like, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to play receiver because, you know what I'm saying? Like, Ooh, I, I can catch the ball, and I can, like, I can fucking, you know what I'm saying, avoid Shit your ass. Like, like, I'm not running you over. Stop pulling me at running back. Like, bing, bing, you know what I'm bing, saying? Bing. I was the smallest nigga out there. Like, I was skinny. I was short. You know what I'm saying? I was just, like, you know what I'm saying, in shape. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So I was, like, a buck 30, a buck 40. And you put me at running back, going against Verona with like already two, three hundred linemen, pound linemen and shit, and on defense like the boys eat out there in Verona. Yes, yeah. sir. Big meals. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, she was crazy. Oh, oh, big line. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just wanted to go against the big dudes. Like, let me see what they have power real quick. Like, if I get ran over, I get ran over. You feel me? Like, I was never one of them to like hold out and. I'm ready to go against them and see what's up. And if I get hurt or whatever, it's just this is just my confidence because I know for a fact I feel like I can run them over. Like you can, bro. Like I don't give a fuck how big you is. If you don't move, though, take me out the game, coach. Because, <laughs> bro, you some big dudes, bro. <laughs> and I gotta I gotta prepare my my mind. And, <laughs> you feel me? Like I gotta tell Coach an excuse real quick. Like, man, let yeah. me let me prepare myself real quick because he didn't even move on that play. I made me <laughs> made me feel a little silly. Yeah, get him out of the game. Coach. Hell yeah. Get him out of the game. I remember game. that play. <laughs> so Damien, you over you over there looking like you like you took a sixty yard bomb to the crib, chucked the deuces up, Tyree Hill style. You, you know just, what I mean? Yeah, he was a little hey. Devin Hester back there. I man. actually did you play sports a little bit myself. You know, I was no Hall of Famer, but uh, you know, I did play uh, a little bit of football and. Middle school, I played running back. Yes, sir. And then uh, in high school, I just played basketball. I played point guard for all four years. I rode the bench. You know, that's safe to say. I ain't gonna lie to you, but I had some games where I got out there and showed them I could, I could do my thing. I had, a, I had a quick shot, and I was pretty good at defense, so I could I could shoot the gym out. I mean, you know, shoot the lights out. Um, I had one game where I had about 12 points, just all threes. It was Maggie Walker, so I mean, it was only the right thing to do. I mean, that it was a government school; they weren't really about that life, but I had to do what I had to do. So, yeah, I had a little bit of um, experience there. Um, I know Tony used to skateboard. I'm surprised they didn't bring that See, up. That's, that's an extreme all sport. I do. That's the problem. Like you know, what I'm saying like that's the motherfucking issue. Like that's all I do, <laughs> and like I'm so defiant. Like I will always like argue with like teachers, motherfucking coaches, like all that shit. Like, that shit. That shit was a fucking, like, a problem, you feel me? But I, I did martial arts, though. And that shit was, like, solo. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and I, like, it's basically, like, the teacher. Like, if you're a shitty teacher, I'm not going to fucking listen to you because I'm not dumb. Like, you feel me? Like, if you just here to get a check, like, I know that. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you don't fuck with, like, you know what I'm saying? Just kids, you just there for, to get paid. You know what I'm saying? When you're some weird shit, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I had an art teacher, like, you know what I'm saying? She kicked me out of school, every like, out of class like, every day just because she ain't fucking black hey. Hey, shout out that teacher that ain't deal with nonsense. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was an art class, and I wanted to make sculptures and all that shit and draw and all that shit, and she kept sending me. So she tried to basically defeat me, you know what I'm saying, as an artist, 
but you couldn't do it because there's so many angles to the spectrum of the motherfucking prison, nigga. Like you can't, you can't lock me out. Like you feel me? So it's only a you. finite number of you colors. Know what you make never fucking did anything. You Are you sure you want in that class being that ass to that lady? But I love. I have a lot of teachers I loved. So I ain't gonna say that. But that one teacher, the art teacher in middle school. Art teacher, you know what you did. Yeah, he was yeah. in there cutting up, acting the ass. Speak of art. And then you want to blame the art lady. But skating is all I know. That's all I know. Fuck the art teacher. Damn, what happened? Hey man, I'm all for the art teacher, man. Why I gotta be why I gotta be fucking the art teacher? Why I gotta be the art teacher? Art was my favorite. You, you know, ain't had to do shit. My what you mean I was in there doodling? Yeah. But on the other end, y'all was in the cool at all. Yeah, like, there wasn't no cool prospect of none about it. Like, as soon as you walk in there, boom, shut the door. Damn, bitch, like, why you slamming the door? Like, <laughs> because it's about <laughs> art, man. Y'all worried about her being nice and having class and shit. Oh, man, let's put some ink to that damn paper and shit, man. No. Let me see a smiley face. She took art to the next level. Like, it wasn't even art no more. We were just in there reading Because you don't understand, like, this ain't even art. Y'all reading books in art class? It's like, oh. like, what we doing? Because y'all have to learn the fundamentals, man. Y'all can't just go start slapping no, no, paint on the damn for a whole pages. semester. No, can't be we can't that. read books for a whole semester on, of art. What about it's to the point where I'm just, whole semester, you know what? No draw pad. No yeah, we haven't drawn shit. Like, damn, bitch. Let me show you what I got. I got. Let me show you what I got. Y'all right. won't ready because y'all won't ready. <laughs> Simply because y'all won't ready. That makes no sense. Mr. Miyagi, that you trying to wax on, wax off with y'all niggas, what and y'all fuck? won't trying to back to the program. I'm not going to trust y'all artwork after that shit. You know what I mean? Y'all not, y'all not giving me yeah. a good enough case. <laughs> so what did you get in our class, real? You know you I, mean? I barely so took it, but I'm pretty sure I probably got like a C or D. Oh. I tried to survive, but that's because the teacher ain't like me, you know what I'm saying? So you, you one of them drawing out the lines ass. Yeah, I, you know, I tried to color, but my, I guess my stroke, they, they, they all go one way. <laughs> I, tried to, I tried to get the whole thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not those kind of strokes. <laughs> the different strokes the world, through the world, yes, it does. Different strokes. Different strokes for different folks. So since we already got in the class shit, let's talk about the after school effects. Homecoming. How was social life for you guys in college? Visiting, chilling in the classrooms, whatever you was doing during those vibes. I only because got one homecoming story because I only went to college for real, for real. We got to repeat that because because you already know. All right, so look, I only got one like one homecoming experience because Ooh. I only went to 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 college like for real, for real, like to live it out. You know what I'm saying? Like once. You know what I'm saying? Like in school, but afterwards, like I always went to colleges. But um, motherfucking, me and Dame went to Norfolk State. Ooh. Okay. So we weren't roommates, you feel me? But we knew each other since middle school, you feel me? And uh, we went out there. Did y'all go the same year? Um. Yeah, yeah, because we graduated with each other. Bet. Okay. Yeah. But my my be- my best friend, he went to um. At the, you know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real, since day my day one, I should say that my day one, like he went to ODU. You know what I'm saying? So they wouldn't let me have a car out there. You feel me? So it was cool. Like, fuck it. Like, that nigga, that nigga used to scoop me and shit. I'm about to grab the chair. I just want to see the chair. But that's what we pass bro. it off to Damien while you get a chair yeah. so he can let us Tell know. Tell him about some, Lil Wayne, yeah. bro. Tell, Tell him about some Lil Wayne. stories about Thrasher that we Lil don't Wayne. know about. School. Yo, Lil Wayne fucking performed at our homecoming, bro. Yes. No bullshit. Like, it was Lil fucking way at his prime, nigga. Like, at his prime, lollipop. Before that, like, <laughs> oh, before oh, Lollipop playing, okay. Oh, Diamonds and Pearls, nigga. Oh, it was when oh, Diamonds and Pearls. Three sessions. In the Carter Three Sessions. Like, Shout out bro, to Ray. Oh Carter my three God. Sessions. That nigga rocked that shit out, bro. I did, at that point, that was like my first time for real, yo, smoking weed, bro. And it was crazy because the, the homecoming concert was in our gym. So that shit was wild because everybody was just smoking weed in, our, in the gym. Like Lil Wayne was in that bitch. Blowing big, big gas. It was big so guns. crazy. Like bam, and it won't gas. Big smoke. Can we get yeah, some I ain't smoke? gonna lie. That shit was like, you know what I'm saying? Some like, some swiggity, like, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't, I ain't know, you know what I'm saying? Growing up, I just like skated, you know what I mean? I ain't really do nothing until like 16, I started drinking. You know what I'm saying? And smoking cigarettes. But um, it was, the shit was crazy though, because it was like, you know what I mean? Like Lil Wayne was just performing, bro. This nigga was going bar for bar, like, you know what I'm saying? Was doing all the hot shit, like when his documentary dropped and all that was shit. Was he performing the mixtape shit? Yes, he was Ooh, performing everything. I didn't know that shit was like, yo, that shit was crazy. I didn't even know how to roll at this point, 
bro. Damn, like, early. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, how we spoke was, like, we fixed blacks. Oh, yeah, stuff stuff them yeah. joints. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? So, we had about, like, five of them things. We had the whole pack, and we was just in there mm-hmm. smoking. And that's what I knew. I said, I, I, I'm, I'm probably never going to come. Like, I'm just not going to work out. <laughs> 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 like, nigga, I'm in my own gym at college, smoking, looking at Lil Wayne. Like, you know what I'm saying? All I did was party. Like, I didn't even chill at North State. Like, I just went straight over to ODU. You know what I'm saying? And we just fucking party, yo. Know? Like, for real. Like, party the frats and shit. Yeah. Like, Shout out to 75 sh- colleges. Yeah, bro. ODU. Hey, yo, North and that State. shit crazy out there in North, yo. Know? Like, you got to watch what street you want. Like, Damn, for real. Because, like, you can be in a junk that's, like, right by the ODU school. And then you go down, like, one street in, like, in certain areas, like, people just get it in out there. Like, you always got to be on your P's and Q's. Like, Shout out to Quan. Straight up. Avenue, you know I mean? like a, I'm from that very campus. Shit was crazy, bro. Like, yo, exactly no bullshit. About. This dude, this dude, right, we left a party, right? Because Damien, this is what they, Damien fucking drank. This is when Sparks, right? Sparks and Four Locos just came out. Really Four Locos. Yeah, it was And four Juice. Locos. Oh, Juice. juice. Yeah, that's right. So it, yeah, it really like, we had this party, right? I think it was on 40th Street or 42nd or some shit like that, right by like the Taco Bell and shit. And um, like we was just wasted and Damien just disappeared. Like, this nigga just disappeared. Just vanished. Just vanished, bro. So we all left the party. Like, you know what I'm saying? We all left the party. And um, one dude was walking by and he said something. I guess like he was checking on like my homeboy's girlfriend out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the one dude was just like, yo, you, ch- you, um, you checking my homeboy's girl out. Like, basically, com- cause a, com- a commotion. This dude's on his phone. This dude says, wait a minute. Hey, yo, come down the street real quick. And then, next thing you know, <laughs> well, well, fucking three niggas pull up. You know what I'm saying? They just, you know what I'm saying? Basically, showed us what time it was. You know what I'm saying? They had to show their they peace. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Peace be with me, peace be with everybody. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I don't know everybody that's drunk. You feel what I'm saying? But like, we just trying to keep going. He was like, yo, don't I know you somewhere? I think it was North State. You know what I'm saying? That I seen this dude. And I was like, yeah, bro, like, for real, you look real for me. He's like, no, no, no. Pulled up, like, and I looked at the other dude. I was like, bro, come on. Like, you really can't be doing shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know. You don't know, you don't know motherfuckers, you feel what I'm saying? You might be from RBA, but you, you don't know motherfuckers, like, you know what I mean? So what happened to Damien? Damien, where'd you go? You vanished. Do you <laughs> remember what happened, bro? Like, at that point, I think I probably ended up at another party somewhere. It was one of them nights. I think Jello Shots was involved. Shout out to Jello Shots. Yeah. Shout out to the J-E-L-L-O. Yeah. So I t- yeah. Do you remember? Norfolk like- State was crazy like that, especially because we would spend so much time at ODU, you know, with the homies over there just chopping it up and the beautiful people over there partying it up. So spent a lot of time drinking, sipping, um, running around. Ended up coming back home because of such, but you know, never never lost touch with, with you know, getting that higher knowledge. So there's, there's more than one way to, to, to get your higher knowledge than just going I to t- school, I will say that. Hey, I tell you what though, bro, like I remember at that party, you know what I'm saying? like. I, like, I was looking for you for like an hour, hour and a half. Like, you know what I'm saying? No bullshit, bro. Because everybody went back into the fucking, in the room, right? Like, in the um, the dorms and shit. But their dorms was different. Like, it was like apartments and shit was crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Damn, yeah, did you? That shit was crazy. Like, Damn. you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody had rooms and shit. You know what Damn, what I got a question for you. So, at that moment. That nigga, yo, no at bullshit. the moment though. when TZ telling you that he was looking for you for that long time while well, the most distress that he ever had in the seventh fast shout out Norfolk and shit. You know what I mean? That's my birthday. But you know what I'm saying? Like, how like how do you feel now that you in terms ditched him? You said ditched him? Ditched him, I mean. You ditched him? Could it could could you say it was no, like that? bro, I didn't ditch him. Oh, it wasn't that like that. nigga dipped, bro. I'm oh, trying to tell you. Out on he your ass. Oh, he party. was gone. Like he Damn. left, every, he left the big party, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like it was a you left him, man. He gone. Seven, five, but I found five. him, and I found him. He was like fucking like wasted. This nigga was done. So by the time we got oh, back, yeah, like yeah. by the time we got, I'm helping this nigga out, bro. No bullshit. Like his arm is around my shoulder. You know what I'm saying? But then, like you know what I'm saying, this nigga dipped again, and he fucking like it was just running. He had so much energy, bro. 
<laughs> this nigga just ran over top of somebody's car. No bullshit. You ran on somebody's car? He ran over top of Oh y'all! Oh y'all on some motherfucking. No, we turning, um, it was a, I'm man, telling you, like, what was that Sparks, Project bro. X type shit? <laughs> no, it was. Yeah, it was. Y'all party in college to get it. Like for real, we was really taking proud of big risks. That's the wildest I've ever seen Damien in my entire life. Though. Juice. It was the juice, bro. He had two <laughs> full juices. Hey, that dude juice gets you gone. Dog, yeah. Oh, it was the that juice would get you gone. That shit is dangerous. The OJ, the juice man, Jeff. Yes. <laughs> J double O S. He might have drank like probably two of those in the Sparks. Yeah, man. They had like a March flip. It was like a screwdriver. It was. Oh, I remember Sparks too. That shit. That shit was. Oh yeah. Y'all remember the blue motorcycles? Oh, that's the club drink right The club jumps. Yeah. Oh, oh, you yeah. talking about the club yeah. drink? I ain't never had Oh, shit, the blue motor. Oh, my God. Shit. I grew up on I used to, I used to, I used to get at least a half of one. Dog, like, split it with somebody. Bro, bro. I'm talking about young age. He was probably like 17, 17, <laughs> 16. We had every store. Like, we trying, like, cuz we ain't gonna let us buy the hand down. We pulling up through drive through So, you know, I'm from, I'm from Louisville. So we got drive through we can go down liquor. So we pulling up to all the drive. We was like, cuz. What's up? Let's get a, uh, let's get a fifth of that hand dog. <laughs> let's get a fifth of that hand dog. One, he two, three, like, four, fifth. Yeah, he was like, uh, ID. He was like, we gone. <laughs> we all looked around. We gone. That's crazy. So yeah, we grew up on that hand dog. That hand dog used to have us turned, bro. We didn't grow up on. We didn't, we didn't start drinking like Bud Light and shit to like fucking. We control the smoke. Just letting you know. <laughs> <laughs> Big Last smoke. Year. Big smoke. Bro, like, Big smoke. But time out, time out. I want to see if that's too, too many parties. <laughs> Cause I think Rio was about to say that I had ditched him on the homie. That's that's. Oh cool. yeah, that's that's that, that, no, let's bring that's back, let's bring it back so a couple of minutes. Let's bring it back a couple minutes. That didn't that didn't, that didn't happen. First thirst, real quick. That didn't happen. I just want to clear the air on that. Oh, so you clearing the air on that? Okay, so we got filtration in the air on that one. Yep, yeah, I didn't, I didn't he ditch did on the homie. Run. I may have got a little wasted. You know, things happened to go yeah. and. Did and, you wasted a chocolate get, wasted? Get, get, get mixed up in the mix. In the yeah, yeah, straight up, lost in the sauce. You chocolate lost wasted. Sauce. That's what, as long as you clear it up all the, you know what I mean, the, the follows out there because I know they wanted to know because. That's one of the first things that came up to my mind, how the story was going, I mean, but I'm glad you cleared it no. up. Yeah. Bro, I was looking for him for two hours. Like, you gotta understand, I was the only nigga out there in the streets. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I brought him back by myself. It was, it was, it was a young dame that, that, that it did a little bit too much sipping. That shit took forever. I got back at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Y'all gotta realize when y'all out there. <laughs> like, I'm trying to tell you. But a big, up, a big up to Tony, though, for that. Because that's uh, that's oh, what a yeah. true friend does. Big up to Tony for having this story to tell that's about when you were friends are for. <laughs> that was my vocals on that. But when y'all out there in the seven foul, y'all got real life, man. Y'all gotta yeah. stick together, man. You can't be all this getting drunk and going out there. I mean, it's a crazy place from what I heard. You know I mean, oh yeah, oh yeah. You from there? What you mean from what you heard? Uh, but you talking about Norfolk, right? Yeah. Some wild yeah. things. I think we are pretty blessed. But Norfolk Sweet is a bitch, though. Like it Norfolk is. is sweet, I don't even yo. see it as wild though because they got a sick ass skate park out there, yo. It's, it's called. It's a Northside Park. And that shit is all concrete with bowls and all types of shit. That's that crazy because yeah. that place, that, that skate park used to be a learning facility for, for the real? kids. No for the way. Kids. For what? Disability kids? Yeah, big cap. The, that's crazy. It's big cap. <laughs> is it big cap? Is <laughs> it or is it not? They tore that down to build that skate park. It's a double park. XL cap. Hey, shout right out to the gifted kids that had oh, the time nah, and nah, education because of the skate park. You're yeah. using the, nah, I'm going to shut up. No, because I'm going to look bad trying to, no. But how was, how was the, um, how was the clubs out there? Cause um, I ain't really club out there, my nigga. We, we was at frat parties, bro. Yeah, house parties. But do y'all yeah. remember the days back then, like when we can go to the club and you can actually get up on a shawty, like, hey, yo, my jam is on. We about no, I to came back to Richmond, hey, so I was always you know? in Richmond. Right. But you remember the club scene Y'all though? It's hard. Yeah. It's like, cause it's yeah. not, it's not the same now. Bro, yo, like when we were younger, like eighteen and under clubs, like we used to go to them joints and like, like break dance and b boy and like battle each, other, battle other motherfuckers. That's what we used to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some like crazy shit. Yeah. Crazy shit. I'm, I'm, I remember. I'm, I miss the days of like dancing, battling, 
but also twerk like work, bro. Twerk, twerk work, bro. Twerk work. Twerk work. Help niggas out. With a nine, nine in the two thousand, my nigga. Yes. Like, shout out to my nigga Duffy, yo, because he still be playing that shit to this day. Yeah, but it's only bro. a few DJs that can really bring that shit back, and that's why he's the best. Shout out to my nigga. But look, <laughs> anyway, it's like it just goes Thanks. back to like. <laughs> It ain't too many DJs doing that these days, and those like those feelings, those emotions, like when you when your song come on and you look at Shorty Girl, it's like, hey yo, I see you, you see me, hey yo, I'm coming, and you already know you look at your girls like, hey yo, he about to come, and I look at my niggas like, hey yo, oh we back, I'm about to get in the lane, yeah. we about to get in between them things, like you know what I mean, like it ain't like that no more. I don't know what happened. What happened? What changed? What was the switch where girls just twerk by themselves because they're athletes now? They out here doing acrobatic shit with the ass. Like I want to be able to get on that shit. Maybe it was like, like maybe it was like girl, a little bit after. Off of her oh, you know it was the, probably the birth of Instagram. What? You said the birth of Instagram? I think so. When Instagram like came out, bro, that shit was crazy. Has it been? I, I got on like 2011, 2012. When it first came out, that was like, I was in school when it came out. I remember that for sure. I think it was like 11 to 12. But that's was when like, it was only on iPhones and shit. That's before. Yeah. I was yeah, always on iPhones. To it was like that Facebook exclusive shit. You remember when Facebook was just for college people? Instagram was just for iPhones. Hey, Facebook was funny. Fuck with them. I think that's what happened though. Not them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like for real. Like that's when shit start like wilding out. But I don't know. Like. I can still I can still get twerk work and you can everybody can still get twerk work. Yeah, we you still know. get the we yeah. still get the work like, of the you know, twerk. But you it's know, just you know <laughs> it ain't it ain't yeah. You gotta be around a certain group of people and maybe it's the state. <laughs> maybe it's just the state. Because <laughs> you know, know how the state is. Yeah. The state is is different. But just think though, Halloween is coming up. You know what I'm saying? By the time this episode premieres, it'll be Halloween of course, but how y'all gonna act on Halloween? Like you already know they're gonna be in the outfits. Masked up, of course, because we got to stay safe in these tough times. Public great. service announcement. It's gonna be a lot of people. So you gotta have a mask. Put the mask. Your mask. Feel me. But it's like they still gonna be dressing provocative with their, you know, their Halloween costumes. Probably more often than not, we're gonna be in some type of event because you know Duff gonna be somewhere spinning that hot fire, and we gonna see that we gonna see them things. You know what I'm saying? The vibes is wait, gonna wait, be right. Wait, you know, wait, it's. Wait. It's just like, is, is Halloween going to be the same or is is, is is the pandemic going to affect how Halloween goes? Of course, I know as far as trick-or-treating for kids, stuff like that, that's probably going to be a dead mission. But as far as like social life for adults, how do y'all feel that's going to be with, you know, the times that we're, we're living in right now? Man, first of all, shout out October 31st, you know what I mean? That's Halloween, you know what I mean? That's the day that Mike is talking about, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I mean? Y'all remember, you The y third and the first. Y'all remember drink responsibly, you know what I mean? Y'all can trick this year, don't treat because, you know what I mean? Y'all gotta, you know what I mean, social distance, y'all you know. But are they gonna be a trick or are they gonna be a treat? That's the question. I can't answer that question. I mean, that's for y'all to answer. Y'all make sure y'all put y'all comments yeah. down so below. Comments. If y'all tricking or y'all treating this Halloween, you know what I mean? That's what we wanna know. Are y'all gonna be out there? So basically, I'm really not trying to be out there, to be honest with you. Like, on my birthday, like, I ain't been, I've been low-key, like, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm always doing shit. I'm trying to, like, create <laughs> something. Like, I might dip off. Like, I always use, like, the past, like, probably, like, four or five years, I've always dipped off on my birthday. And just went somewhere, like, outside of Richmond just to, like, do something. Yeah, how does your, how does your birthday go? Because you, your birthday's on Halloween, bro. Yeah. So the opportunities are endless. Like, it, yeah, you ain't like, got to say too much, but if you bro, just want to, you know. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real, like... Growing up, Halloween was so crazy, like, you know what I'm saying? Wearing, like, fucking costumes and shit and going trick-or-treating and shit, you know what I'm saying? It'd be your birthday, so it's like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm allergic to chocolate, so I don't fucking eat chocolate, you know what I mean? So, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, um, you might want to, like, I had a, like be a, more specific with that, because you just said you're allergic to chocolate. You know, chocolate shorty's going to be oh, yeah. so you're allergic to chocolate? No, like, literally the candy. <laughs> like, I have a lot of food allergies. I probably most likely outgrew them, but growing up, I had, like, shellfish, chocolate, eggs, like, all the shit that your body needs. But at the same time, when I look at it, it's almost like a blessing in disguise because it's all this shit that they be poisoning, too. You know what I'm saying? Mm. On some food. Like, with the, with the FDA and all that shit. Yeah. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Being born on Halloween, a lot of people would think, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm all fucking, like, evil and shit. Like, you know what I mean? All, like, fucking black magic and shit. But then, honestly, like, I'm against that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
And for real, the day, that day, like, you know what I'm saying, it's a holiday. At the end of the day, it's a pagan holiday. I don't fuck with pagan holidays. So that's Thanksgiving, you know what I'm saying, Halloween, um, Easter, like, you know what I'm saying, pagan holidays where they put, like, St. Patrick's Day, like, I don't fuck with none of those shits, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> But it's a reason behind that, you know what I'm saying? And the reason behind it is because I knew, I found, like, you know what I'm saying, information and knowledge that it's really just like, even like, like rituals, like, you know what I'm saying? But like for people that I don't, I don't really support, you know what I'm saying? And like the, the way people like just do things, you know what I'm saying? It's just like weird, this, this, this world is weird. So like me personally, I just like creating and all I did was like skating. So it didn't matter, like, you know what I'm saying? I was just always in my, my zone, like, just looking at my board. It didn't even care, yeah, like, yeah. Elaborate on that, because this is your episode, and I've always been curious to know, because you're a jack of all trades. You skateboard, you, you do pictures, video, you're an artist, you're a producer, fucking everything, dog. Like, I just like creating, bro. This is basically how, how this How did just, that happen? Like, like, I just found out, like, for real, like, I guess, like, growing up, I was just, I just love learning, yo. It's as simple as that. I just like learning shit. I like fucking with shit. I like fucking with levels. I like tweaking shit. You know what I'm saying? I like just learning shit. So skateboarding was like something that you can learn. Like I'm still learning new shit today. It's a, you can't stop learning that shit. It's weird. It's like, you know what I'm saying? But it keeps you like young. I don't know what this is. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So as far as, um, cause, cause with, I want to laugh. I want to I was always the, outdoors too, yeah. mostly. But I want I want to get in your creative facts. Facts. Yeah. Stay outside. And it was only inside when it rained. And I play fucking video games when it rained or at nighttime. That's the only time I play video games. Let's talk about the motherfucking video games, dog. Ooh, let's go. No, I mean, let's go. Let's go. All right, so look. You just can't say that without yeah. what, what, what what would you want? All right. What system? What game? So I play everything. My first system was Sega Genesis. I never had a Nintendo, so fuck Nintendo. Ooh, it don't okay, even matter. Okay. It's like, nah, don't fuck okay. Nintendo, because I play like okay. Super Smash Brothers. There's certain things, Fantasy Star Online, that's Cloud's started about on to get you. It. Yeah, I know. No. You know you about to All right, yeah, my bad. I take it back. Fuck. All right, <laughs> <laughs> let's just clarify that. I'll take that back. He caught but, that before the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, a wise yeah. move. Like wow. It's just like a little, <laughs> yeah, I guess a reaction. We just got a little reaction out of it. <laughs> but fuck it, like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like a trigger, but no, like Sega Genesis, and then like I played the shit that you had your like it was like a red jump that had Warrior on it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then PlayStation, PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, and then when Xbox came out, I had Xbox and PS2. I had both. Like oh, I played all that shit. Now you fuck with the Dreamcast? Dreamcast, oh, yes. Right. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. Yes, sir. That's my oh shit. My god. 2K, Power Stone. Yes. 2K, 2K all the footballs. Yeah. Power Stone. Hey, Super Smash yes. Brothers on yes. that jump. Uh, Super Smash Brothers yes. was on that Power shit too. Yes, too. All right, so we about to we about to go down the yes, line. Too. No, that was a uh, Dreamcast. I mean, no, that was a uh, GameCube. Real uh, quick, Super Smash Brothers. Throwback yeah, games. Exactly. Yeah. Throwback games right now. Your childhood. What was your favorite game playing? Sorry, we about to go down the line on this one. Um, Mafia One. Oh, that's different. I always had that too. Yes, sir. Yeah. What was that? What was that? I didn't hear. I didn't hear. Oh. The classics, you know, when they was in like the twenties and thirties, they were telling the story of Paulie and all them. Okay. Yeah, that's that's right. that was my favorite Hell shit. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, my my shit early on in the game was was the fucking Michael Jackson joint on on Sega Genesis, dog. That shit was sweet because you was beating niggas' asses, and all of a sudden you had to start coordinating wow. dances and shit. Like that shit was sweet as a bitch, and I always felt like. I'm about to be here with you too, Thrash, because um, I ain't I, never played that joint. I ain't even, that's crazy. <laughs> I like I'm Sega, mad about that. I like Genesis more than I like Nintendo because it was certain games that they had. Street Fighter. Mortal Kombat. Damn. Nintendo, Come on, Nintendo yo. Nintendo like, has, I take that back. Nintendo nah, fuck. Nintendo nah, not Street fuck Fighter. MJ, but Mortal Kombat got to have this thing. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Nintendo has Street Fighter, uh, uh, Mortal Kombat 2, though. Hey, oh. Sonic. Favorite, favorite game was uh, Simpsons. Ooh, yes. Oh, that shit was far. Yes. Yes. Mark Simpson yes. was in the yes. junkyard. That was, that was yes. shit. I'm talking about that was the shit. Then after that, oh shit, gotta go with like Grand Theft Auto and San Andreas all the time. Mm. Oh yeah, that, that, one, that was the best. That was pretty much the best one. That was a good one right there. That was a good choice right there. <laughs> that was the first one that you can like work out and like customize your character, right? Yeah. yeah. And also the first black character. Was Hayden. That, yeah. yeah. 
My joint probably was Halo on Xbox. Halo I don't two. know why Halo everybody two. Halo two. Halo, like Halo that, two because it's the Xbox Live. No, I don't like Halo. And like the, that, the multiplayer. Halo, man. That was the first like online multiplayer that was like heavy. Man, thumbs down Halo, man. What? Why the hell would y'all like some oh damn Halo? God. What the hell is that? Some niggas in oh space shoes and lasers and shit. What the fuck? Nah, you tripping. Nah, fuck out of here. These niggas riding on some goddamn. What? These what? niggas what? riding on some John Deere lawnmowers. Throwing lasers at each other. What? Are you bothering Niggas ain't throwing Halo? lasers. Niggas throwing bullets or plasma. Nah, did, you, did, you ever play, did you ever play Halo personally or did you just watch people play? I played I play like twice for like three minutes. See, you ain't even played like, like, that shit ain't That shit ain't catch my excitement and that's what I'm saying. Like, Bro, we had clans. I want to I want to see if somebody <laughs> don't like Halo. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas had clans, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, local clans. You can have clans in other games. Halo ain't Halo, the only way well, you gotta have that shit here. Yeah, that's the only reason oh, yeah. I got Xbox. No, no, I, I got the Xbox for um, Project Gotham. Now, yeah. I would have to, if I have to go back to, like, one no, of my I'm tripping, favorite, I'm tripping. I'm high. one of my yeah, favorite yeah, first games, game. it would have to be uh, Mario Kart. Ooh. Mario Kart took up a lot of time. Yes, yeah, sir. Just drifting yeah, around was, the man. corners. Star Star Trek or Star Road, I think it was. Oh, like oh, the last jump. The last jump was like going space and shit. Yeah, Rainbow yeah. Road and shit. Yeah, Rainbow yeah, Road. Yeah, that's yeah, what it was. Man, like, I ain't never man. The shortcuts. The, Did y'all play island, Twisted like, Metal? Huh? Oh my God! I think it brought us to Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal and Jet Moto. Oh my God! Oh, yes. Jet Moto was yes. my shit, yo. Oh yeah, my God. God. We can go through our characters show. for that Jet Moto. And they had the demo to that shit. All right, so do I. And Midnight Club Double Dish. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, we used to play that shit at the Alright, so look, check it, right? Hey, what you, what you got? What you got? You got Tekken, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, or Dead or Alive. Killer Instinct. Like out of out of oh, like yeah. fighters. Out of like, fighters. Did y'all ever play Solar Caliber? That was a joke with the the players on Xbox, you know what I'm saying? They had weapons. Everybody had a weapon. Like See, I, a sword I, or a stick. I knew of it, but I never played it personally. Never Some had of them had Jason and Yoda. Yeah. yeah. What's y'all? What's y'all favorite fighting game? My favorite fighting game, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. I think. But it's the, the um, man. yeah. My guy be killing instinct. The joint okay, on PlayStation okay. though. The, the, no, my shit. Nah, the, Cause you know Mortal Kombat got different waves. Like the, the one do, that they put on PlayStation where you can get everybody. I'm talking about you got like noob, smoke, noob, and, noob, Cybot, yeah, yeah. Cyrax, Cyborg, all them niggas. Like you know what I'm saying like oh, Rain, Ermac, you know all them niggas like. Yeah. It's just the board was filled with Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, oh man, this nigga brought in the wrestling. Oh, oh, my nigga, this nigga wrestling. Damn, I wasn't no, even thinking of a way to the back. Down, the smack down, the smack down for the original PlayStation. To the back. Throw it, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Throw it back. Yeah. I used to be able to put that nigga in the back without no crowd or nothing. Just bring that nigga back. Throw it, nigga, underneath the ring. They go underneath the ring, grab a board. <laughs> so bad, nigga. Boy, I'm talking about the motherfucking cheer go flying, cuz that WWE Ooh. SmackDown, bro, was the yes, shit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was. Probably one of the best WWE games. Yeah, it was. Until they came out with WWE, what was it, WWE 2K? Yeah. Yeah, the ring. Exactly, but they make you pay for everything. They give you everything in that original. But the SmackDown finishing moves, you know you gotta get the bar yeah, when the it gets SmackDown. The way the flash. camera angles go on your finishing moves, it's like... Yeah. She got a flash. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like, yo, that shit was like, man. I guess I can't relate. I ain't gonna lie, I can't relate. Goldeneye, yeah. N64. Yes. What was y'all, what was y'all banging on, on the N64? I played wrestling games on the N64, though. South Park 2 was my shit on N64, too. Yeah. That shit yeah. went crazy. F-Zero X. <laughs> that was Zelda. Blitz. Blitz. Oh. Blitz. Oh my god, they need a new Blitz. We need a new Blitz. I ain't had a Blitz since it came to PlayStation. Yeah, Blitz was on that joint too. Fucking oh, uh, uh, NBA Street. No, nah, mine was taking tag, tag turns. Yes, sir. My yeah. nigga. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Slip and slide. That was on PS2. Dunk Delicious. Right? Well, Eddie Law out that bitch. That was PS2, right? What? PS2, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did y'all play that Def Jam Vendetta jump? Yes. I always wanted nah, to. I ain't never yeah. played that joke. Yeah, no, that joint was hard. That joint was they hard. had Joe Biden everybody. Yeah, they had, that's the only like, way to play Joe. I don't even know. And they might only make one of them joints. How many did they Yeah, they only made <laughs> I think yeah, it was one. was hard. I think I was, I, I used to play with Buster Rhymes. The 50 Cent came and out Method with Method Man a lot. Right, so, what's your favorite shit? Ooh, now we, are we talking about Except now? Except for Call of Duty. Except for Call of Duty. 
You already know what time it is now. I can say, I can say Mail like. Mail from all the way back. Mail from all the way back. If, if we got to go from like the end of high school, college now. Yeah, duty. Did I say duty? Yeah, yeah. You know what to be called Yeah. I remember Which me one? and Rio used to, we used to fucking, before, because I was scared to play multiplayer when I was younger. I just started playing multiplayer a couple years ago. Me and Rio, we used to we used to do the shit back when they used to have the waves with the juggernauts and the helicopters yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. Bro, we used to go crazy. Modern Warfare. Yeah. Oh, oh, Modern Warfare. Three? Yep. yep. Modern Warfare 3? Yep. Did that catch yep. you? Yeah. yeah. You, that that you, know, you gotta go in the subway. When the, when the helicopter come, you gotta go in that subway. Let that shit go. We just set up out of stairs and shit. Turn up. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Go get me blasting everybody. In zombie mode, the other one, because you know they got the two. So in Black Ops, Black Ops. Yeah, I, 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 was, fuck with I was a zombie Ops. guy. I played, more, I played online with Black zombie Ops. mode. I mean, all of them. But Black Ops Three mm-hmm. was still cool. Black Ops Three was. You could, you could play, you could play that after like other. You could play that like after like other shit. Like you can hop back on Black Ops Three and like, yeah. be like having fun. But like, I feel like. I've had the most fun playing Gears of War and Halo. You know what I'm saying? And that's just because like when we went to school, like we used to like in high school, you know, I used to bring my Xbox to school on SOLs. And our, and our teacher would let us fucking game online, nigga. Yes, bro, that's what I'm saying. Like there's certain teachers that looked out. Tucker, nigga. That's why you say to another teacher, she ain't let you bring the, the, um, the chair. Yeah, that's why you yeah. told her. <laughs> but like when we was in class like gaming, who was in class gaming other, other, other? Like, <laughs> 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 like, I plug in. <laughs> yeah, facts, 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 so facts. So you know what I'm saying? So it was different, like, you know what I'm saying? But like, like, most of us in high school, like, you know what I'm saying? We had like big groups and shit. So we would always play other people online or play each other in practice. It would be like at least eight of us on Halo or fucking um, Gears of War. Gears of War. Was y'all hackers and shit? Huh? Was y'all hackers and shit? No, <laughs> I used to they, everybody just played sports or just like, you know what I'm saying? I skated, a couple other people skated. No, I mean hacking on Halo. No, that's, I never what, did that shit. That's what, that's what like always Like double jumping and shit from. and like, Oh, people um, the, yeah. hitting the lag button on the modem and shit. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah right. You look stupid as a bitch in the middle of the street. That was one of the only games in the back in the day that your level could drop, bro. Yeah. Halo 2, bro. Yeah, you come out, come out there on that bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I know you remember that shit. Yep. Oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Because, yo, look, yo, tell them about the inverted shit. What about the, <laughs> the controller, the controller shit. What about the controller? What? Like, how you had to switch the controllers on the Halo. Oh, y'all, y'all ran oh, the invert? Oh, Halo and So, yeah, I, I used to play with my bro. And my brother, he always played on inverted uh, controls. I don't know. I, I actually know why. He, back in the day, we used to play a game called Turok. And Turok. Ooh, with the dinosaurs? The Dinosaur Hunter. That's another that N64 shit. N64, drink. Okay. yes. I, okay. I played a lot of N64. I ain't go front. But um, that like drink had bitching. inverted controls right out the gate. Ooh, the dinosaurs! <laughs> <laughs> look at this! Look at this! Hater, come on, man! Like but anyway, <laughs> oh my god, dinosaurs! It's my like, how you gonna hate on dinosaurs? It's my song. It's my jam. Goodness. <laughs> but it had inverted controls. So from that point, I think he started playing you inverted controls. You gotta cut that out. Trouble. You gotta cut that out. Hell, fuck that! Fuck that! <laughs> Go ahead. My bad, my bad, Damien. I just that shit gonna look bad. Oh my god! <laughs> the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs. <laughs> nah, run it back. We good. Run it back. My voice, my voice get deep. Okay. Voice get deep. <laughs> the dinosaurs. Okay. We got them dinosaurs. <laughs> Yo, hey, shout, hey, shout out. Hey, shout out. Um, Shout out uh, Doku, yo. Yeah. And shout out Spot. That, hey, that shit was hilarious, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was hilarious. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> shout out Spot, yo. Hey, shout out. Call, Call of Duty or Battlefield right now? Call of Duty. Battlefield Call of Duty. Shit, though. Oh, oh, man. For all. Not right now. Oh, I love, I personally love Battlefield. Because what, what, what was it? Battlefield 3? The one before they did that? Yes, sir. That yes. 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 You know? Yeah, Battlefield yeah, yeah. Before, was yeah. Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 had the um, Modern Warfare style like game. Like, them servers still weapons. be jumping to this I mean, yeah, the vehicles. Still be rocking. Yeah. I don't yeah, know why they did that. Hard as a bitch I don't know why they went back. Bro. That shit's so whack. That was the first game where you try to you try to be like a little bitch and camp. I'll blow your building now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> was like on that, that shit will come down. You will die. They was like, on that <laughs> World War shit. They always want to stay on some World War shit. Bro. A couple of them. I bet you they go back to something crazy, like PS5 and um, 
they, they gonna have a civil yeah, war this so, Drop. You stand in front of each other. And shoot Did y'all play Assassin's Creed? Oh. No. Ooh. He said no. No, I didn't. Damn. My cousin played that junk. Bro, them, them, them games like, were sick. I feel like that shit was like. That nigga played Air Last in one of them. I feel like that shit was like history. Like, he was yeah. almost playing like a history game. But you just like assassinating motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that movie the whole time he was dreaming. Like, oh, that nigga dirty. I gotta go take him out of that shit. That's basically what that was. Like the king of making perfect mistakes Gotta thank the Lord for every breath I take I'm down to break bread and go our separate ways Just to take a minute, I don't have much to say I'm gonna like the king of making perfect mistakes Gotta thank the Lord for every breath I take I'm down to break bread and go our separate ways Just take a minute, I don't have much to say I don't have much to say Things been cooler since I got this cooler They gave me an inch, I turned to a ruler Started with a dollar, turned myself to a baller Them struggle nights, crying will make me turn to go harder Picture this, always standing up, but understood I was supposed to be in school, but I was playing in the hood Speaking about killing and robbing and destroying niggas Did y'all see what the Redskins did to them boys? <laughs> I'm about to throw behind the back alley you to real real quick because he's a Redskins fan. So go ahead and just let everybody know in the Cloud Nation what happened because you saw it better than probably we all did. You know, I know y'all was tuning in live for the game over here with um, the Washington football team. I mean, I know Mike <laughs> you about to say and Redskins. Team, no. Did I say Redskins? <laughs> yeah. Yes, you did. Damn. Yes, you did. So. Nah, well, you know what to do. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. He said it. We need to let the world know. He said it. <laughs> he said it. I'd rather y'all remember that than turn off. But what y'all gotta understand nowadays is that, I mean, that's that's just what we do. You know what I'm saying? We we come out here, we play the Cowboys. I mean, we win. That's what we do. You know? I ain't know he's gonna do it like that. That press shot. <laughs> you taking it to the hat. No. Dog, can you ask me about the damn? Go ahead, nah, go ahead, nah, nah, you got it, you That's got it. Man, like, watch hey, the hey, football. So, so Rio, Rio, do you like <laughs> chant when y'all win football team, football team? I said, football team. Team. <laughs> when we be playing, when we be playing, I be like, let's go football team, let's go football <laughs> team, and I be yelling that to the top of my shit, son. That's what I do, yo. That shit crazy. I was shout, shout out the football team, you know. What I'm how, how, how was that? Um, That's crazy. How was the reaction as far as Redskin fans with that late hit? Was y'all just rocking with it? Lost it? Hey, look, for all the damn late hits, we ain't get called for and all the damn losses we had to do a shit. We, we I just was think due, we was due a goddamn late hit. Shit. Everybody sat back, kept eating their nachos. <laughs> they nachos. Ain't no. <laughs> nachos. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anybody worry about that shit? I just but, thought it was crazy. His helmet like flew. Yeah, that nigga got scoop scoops. But what y'all gotta understand <laughs> though, when our defense is coming, that's what we gonna do. We gonna send your helmet. And you get and you gonna blame us. And if you gonna blame us no, for his no, helmet flying him. off, how you know his helmet won't strap no properly? How you know he won't yeah. follow in protocol to get his know. shit smacked off like that? I don't know. That, yeah. But do you how you how you how you, how you feeling around right with Eric? We just out there hitting hard. I that mean, watch the football team there. Yeah. How you feel? How you feel about um, having Rivera as a as a head coach? I ain't gonna lie, I miss him in the defense and like the type of defense that he set up. See, that's another thing y'all gotta understand when it comes to Washington football team and uh, what we doing to be number I one in the East, you know. know what I'm saying? But Vera, he ain't doing nothing but adding a little sugar to the Kool-Aid, you know what I'm saying? That nigga sugar just making everything a little bit better, everything sweet. So you know what I'm saying? That nigga, <laughs> yeah. Rivera's doing his Big thing. Pump. You know what I mean? You know, he got his last treatment, you know, he up, he probably, you know what I mean, roll one up. He up. <laughs> He probably rolled one up to celebrate, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to Rivera, man. But which y'all don't understand, Rostin, that's what we needed. What man. you mean we don't understand? Watson, that's what we needed, man. That's what we that's what we needed, man. But but let's let's take a moment to, to understand that Rivera did just get out of the hospital for that cancer treatment. That's what I'm saying. That's a blessing. And, and he blessing. won and he won while he was doing it. Y'all, that's, that's y'all gotta understand about yeah. Washington, you know what I'm saying? Who's, who's playing, who's starting quarterback? Washington football team? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's the quarterback. Who's our quarterback? Was it, was it um, Haskins? Or was no, it Kyle. Kyle, Kyle Allen. Kyle? All right. Yeah, he was out there doing Kyle his thing. Allen? Yeah, you know they came back. Because y'all understand, though, Washington, we we, re- we gave redemption. Haskins, he had four, five weeks to do his shit. He couldn't do it. So I out of here. Kyle Allen, you got it here. You ain't throw a touchdown. You know what I mean? Then you do one. All right, we're going to see what you're going to do. Then you get hurt. You know what I'm saying? Then the legend Alex Smith come through. You know what I'm saying? Should we play? You know what I mean? I'll put your ass now. You broke your leg. And hey, we gonna play y'all. We gonna play y'all this season too, towards the end too. I hope we get at y'all. But what, 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 what Washington fans gotta understand though, like I mean, y'all fucking fucked up. Carolina really. I mean, y'all. I mean, you Teddy Bridgewater. Well, he wear two gloves and he a quarterback, man. That's all I'm saying. Man, we lost y'all. My new owner said fuck that and started firing everybody. And stripping my team apart, took out the organs and started putting in new different parts. That shit was crazy. I ain't never been hard. How you know so he ain't rebuilding the better team in my life, bro? How that you know he ain't rebuilding the better team? No, it's it looking like it. I have the vibe I get from it is like fresh. I like fresh. So you know what I'm saying? Like I fuck with. T- I always fuck with Teddy Bridgewater. You feel what I'm saying? So to have him on the squad and I always fuck with him. That's like almost saying like I saw the future. Man. But the rebuild process. <laughs> Cause I like his release, you know what I'm saying? I like how his his quarterback mechanics, I'm sorry, they're better than Cam. And I love Cam the Duck. Cause he would throw it down your throat and flip front flip over you yeah, for the Cam touchdown. Yeah, Cam be swinging that bitch. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? He'll throw this shit deep, but like Teddy Bridgewater is just like, he's just finesse. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? He's just like, he's real competitive. He be bringing people How up. you feel about your team rebuilding it like that? You gotta watch. You gotta that shit was tough, like, bro. Oh my gracious. That shit is tough, that bro. Shit I ain't gonna lie. That shit tough. But at the end of the day, it's like, I know in the future, like for real, like in the future, we gonna we gonna look back at it and I'm gonna be like, yeah, I told you, uh, so, like we gonna be throwing 450, not throwing, <laughs> but like we gonna like produce like 450 yards, like as a total total team offense. I heard yeah. McCaffrey coming back Thursday. Is he? That's what they talking. About. I need him back, bro, because I need him to sauce up. I need him to open the lanes. I need him to open. Like everybody down, he's gonna open everybody. It's gonna be crazy. But y'all time. was losing with him too. So what he gonna open yeah. up? Because everybody didn't have no congruency. Ain't nobody even know each other. They found it without Teddy Bridgewater. He he met up with Robbie Anderson in the offseason. So that's why him and him already had chemistry. You but feel what, what I'm saying? But what happens when y'all have to play Tampa Bay again? Because they just got AD. It's time to motherfucking put that nigga in the slot too. Put CMC in the slot. Have Mike Davis in the backfield. Oh, no, I'm talking about Antonio Brown on the Buccaneers. Oh, yeah. Bro, like, yo, for real, for real, like, it depends. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we either be competitive or we can get smacked because we young. You know what I'm saying? There's so many weapons on that side. It's an overload. We got we're injury. We got injury bang on the defense. So it could fucking backfire. Or he can come in and he can fucking fuck the, the, the vibe up. But how I feel you, like we gonna smack him, bro. How you think AB about to do? When Christian McCaffrey play against Tampa, Tampa Bay, when we come back, we gonna smack him, bro. I think I think he about to do good. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. Tampa Bay is loaded, out. bro. They gonna be good. My division crazy right now, and it's always been crazy competitive. So it's like now, like the NFC East, man. Shout out to the NFC. Man, y'all the worst trashes, like y'all like trash. Most competitive. I ain't gonna lie, y'all like trash. Like your whole fucking division is trash, bro. Like for real. They should have got that. It's old. The Giants. The Giants. Oh man. The New York football team. I can't talk, y'all. Y'all, y'all be Washington football team. But one thing y'all gotta <laughs> understand, Washington football team, we bounce back just like you saw. You know what I'm saying on Sunday. The Giants, damn sure ain't bouncing back for nothing. <laughs> Hey, no, nah, but for real. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> you damn right. Hey, these niggas, hey, NFC East gotta be the sorriest ass niggas. I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> these niggas gotta be slow. That shit crazy. <laughs> but, they just suck, man. But did y'all see what was going on in the AFC? It's magic out here. Got the Dolph- Dolphins in first place, I believe. I believe they're tied for first place. And they're bitching them, they're benching them for two. Yeah. He was emotional about that, man, because he's been, you know what I'm saying? He, out of any quarterback, I feel like he's had to go the extra mile just to get a chance. But it yeah. seems like his chances are just to like play that in the intermediate role until the rookie is ready. And his emotion in his interview, just talking about how he just, you know, just leaves it all on the field. I just felt bad for the guy, man, because Tua, he is a talent, but 
Fitz is winning. Like y'all, y'all, y'all are in position to win this division. Like, how, how y'all feel about that? He's playing great. He's playing outstanding, and they just want to bench him. I guess they want to go in a new direction. And I mean, I feel like it's a little bit early. I don't even see him diminishing. So I mean, that's how I feel. I feel like he should still be playing for real. I feel like they be playing him on every team that he go to. And he's just like a lead ho. <laughs> you said a <elite>. lead. <laughs> No, but y'all, he y'all produces, know how. bro. But they be they be shitting on him at every team he go to. Nah, he didn't play for some shitty teams, bro. Y'all know Fitz some shitty teams. How many Fitz teams he played for? Bro? is what teams is worried about. He he's on the high. Are they winning? Right they now. winning. They about to bench him. You think it's the pressure from the owner? Oh, I'm, the owner? I mean, it could be. I don't, I don't know. know. I ain't got that I problem. Like, I think I think they ain't tripping. I think they understand <laughs> his, I'm not a uh, dog his, his uh, goddamn uh, rotation. He be balling, he on his high horse, and then he about to go on that little losing streak. Now he he only ball out for like four or five games. But when he ball out, trust me, that motherfucker ball out. Yeah. So I ain't worried about slump, him. it go all to hell. Yeah, I ain't worried about him. But I wouldn't bitch him until he lose. It's first of all, that's when you know he about to start losing. And it, but what if it what if it, what if it was like law, the, that's when it goes what if he balled out right and then like they just missed a field goal and then they did it? Mm. So you know what I'm saying? It's different, I guess. Like, but you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the reason them. for benching him? If the they want to go future now, then future now, because since the league is, they want to see maybe what he, what Tua got. The league already crazy, mm-hmm. so he's still gonna be, I guess, a backup and be Uncle fucking Fitzpatrick and shit. But this season, I for real, that's a it's a film season. He might. I think everybody's just starting everybody for real, just for the fuck of it, just because. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, don't nobody give a like damn. a scratch season almost. Yeah, for a long ass preseason. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? For real. For real. Yeah, pretty much. Well, the Packers, the Steelers, and the motherfucking Chiefs and the Ravens, they be out there putting up big numbers. They acting like... Hey, man, shout out to the Steelers. Y'all see that damn Titans? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that damn... And the Seahawks, too. Seahawks, too. And they even know they just lost, yo. Yeah. Hey, it was a lot of (laughs) good-ass games. The early games. Yo, DK Metcalf, dog. Yeah. He's a freak. Is he the, he the next Megatron? Next guy? Megatron. Dog. Next Megatron. Okay, we, we dubbed him that. Cloud TV, he the, he the, he the next Megatron. Next Megatron. Hey, can we get that? Hey, hey, that was me. Did you get it. that? I can get the good camera. Sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucking, um, I don't know, bro. Like, I'm just fucking with, like, the, like, I love, I like the Seahawks. I ain't even gonna lie. They're really competitive. I like, I, I be mad when we lose against them, but I do like them. Russell, man, team. the way he be throwing that yeah. thing, man. They're loaded, bro. They're like, I don't know, like they're loaded. The Chiefs are loaded. Y'all are loaded. Y'all got, it's a lot of teams that's just loaded with Watch power. Packers, team loaded. power. Right. It's Seahawks a lot of power. Did the Seahawks just pick somebody up? Hmm? Did the Seahawks, I mean, the Seahawks just pick somebody up? No, the Bucks did. I know they were they were in play for AB, but the Bucks ended up. No, the Buccaneers oh, got caught. Yeah. So they switched it up. Up. Originally, yeah, he, he was, was going to go there. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy that didn't. And Tony Brown of the Seahawks? How y'all I mean, regardless, it's bullshit for us. How you think he's going to do Antonio with Brown the Bucks? Antonio Brown of the Seahawks. You might I well think that shit down. he can only go as far as his ego will let him. If he if he sticks to the vision, just plays his role, just when they need him. If that nigga can play slot and they can have them two dudes on the end. But see, that's the thing with their receivers. Their, their receivers always get banged up. So Mike Evans or Chris Godwin, somebody going to go down. So it's all about, you know, when they, when they go down, because they're fragile. Just, just fill that void. You know what I mean? That's all he got to do. Just, just stick to the vision. Cause you know what I'm saying he gonna come in the second half of the season. We just trying to get to this bowl. Like, don't try to come in here and get a thousand yards. I just need you to get these first downs. You know what I'm saying? Tom throwing that thing right now. That connection is growing. You know, Gronk is getting better. It's, it's tight on the NFC South, bro. I'm sorry. It is. <laughs> but we're gonna definitely touch all the quarterbacks. No homo. You feel what I'm saying? Like we're, yeah, pause. Yeah, ser- seriously. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're getting at Tom Brady, Drew Brees. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going we gonna, to we gonna start hit cracking. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Like, strip sacks and all yeah. that. He going to get, he going to he feel pressure, bro. Like, he ain't going to just be out there like, like a, a walk in the park. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, it's going to be interesting to see how he just transferred from fucking, he got traded from. You know what I'm saying? The Patriots got all them fucking rings. And now he came over, you know what I'm saying, to Tampa Bay to my division. You know what I'm saying? Who knows what, what's going to happen to Matt Ryan? They're about to kick him out. Like, you know what I mean? I mean that loss to the Lions, that might, that might have demoralized the Falcons. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jimmy. I'm I don't sorry. know. They, nah, they was already done. It was already scratched on. Mm. Yeah, and that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they looked like they was going to win. Like, But then they didn't. 
and it's like crazy. Like he all the games. Right? Yeah, he's oh, still he's saying. He, he, that's why he's saying. Dog, like, I'm talking about the Titans. He's still in the game. He's not saying no. Nah, get your shit off, son. Y'all ain't talking about y'all game. Y'all the last undefeated team, I believe. Yeah, how you feel when the Titans was creeping back on that ass, though? They, oh. Y'all nice gave too, up though. too. The Titans nice. So they nice, no, but we just gotta. No, they got lucky. They yeah. won't. They won't do nothing relax. nice. Relax. They, they won't nice. do nothing nice. They, relax. They nice. They we nice. almost beat them niggas. I'm just saying. about to say they relax. they won't do too much nice though. That's it. The the Steelers just start <laughs> sleeping, but go ahead, Fox. Tell your tale. Tell you. He said, "But you did." We just. Uh, I want to talk about. I'm just. Nah, <laughs> I feel you, dog. Can't do it. You don't want to jinx it. Like, numbers is doing good. Just know. Just, just know. We're just going to keep on scoring touchdowns. <laughs> hey, dog, but y'all undefeated, dog. Y'all ain't lost one game all season, dog. Like, y'all undefeated, dog. Like, you don't feel like. Good, <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> y'all well, feel like. We got to keep on handling business, is all I got to say. Shout out to the defense. Or how you think Mike Tomlin handling his pressure? You know what I'm saying? Ben Roethlisberger old as shit too. So you think? I think he got two more years. Two, two more. Years. I th- if it's if it's not his last year, he definitely gonna go for two more. If this is not his last year, he's gonna definitely. Why not? Well, yeah, with the defense, like, y'all like you said, this is like a chill season. But yeah. niggas are still going crazy. If it were Tom Brady, I'd say he got two more because you couldn't touch him. So he still got like three more years botched up in him. You can smack fucking Roethlisberger ass, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's kind of slow, but at the same well, time, he's going to get that ball off. Game. He's going to get that ball off in a matter of time. He ain't going to yeah. keep that. But he, 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 is, he, is, he is built for it. He's going to get that ball off. I give it to Ben Roethlisberger, though. He is built for it. He's been through a lot of yeah, generations. Like I said, we just got to keep on staying <laughs> focused. <laughs> Yeah. That nigga been there since the 90s. The Steelers, leader, leader, Steelers. Facts. Ever since I grew up, like, the Steelers has been nice. So I can't never talk shit about y'all. They focus. They they are they they're a good organization. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you think y'all going to lose focus going in with... Uh, have, y'all, have y'all played Baltimore or um, and Cleveland exactly. yet? They ain't played none of them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, y'all haven't played Cleveland. Y'all think y'all gonna lose focus going into the big weeks? I'm about to look up to see. These the big weeks, man. Baltimore did that. They actually just traded for um, Yannick and Gakwe. That was our DN. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I, nice. I think they're getting their defense, defense right defense, to try to yeah. come after y'all because y'all got that rookie wide receiver that just score every time he touched the ball. That's what I'm saying. That nigga nice. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I know you, you can. I know you want to talk, you can't. I'll say it for you. That nigga's nasty. <laughs> that nigga's nice. I'll say it for He's you, too. Trolling. I'll, I'll say it for you, too, man. Pittsburgh undefeated, man. Yes, sir. Undefeated, Mike man. Mike Tomlin basically showed everybody. Everybody thought I needed AB. AB, yo ass out. I'm over here. We straight. We good. What are you talking about? Still kind of bad. Yo, y'all about to play the right. How you feel about Smith? Y'all got rid of A.B. and Le'Veon Bell, and y'all undefeated. That's making them look silly right now. Hey, next game is against the Ravens, bro. So you want to just atone to the bet. You want to bet? I'm tuning in for that one. Hey, yo, take it to the cloud, Joe. If you want to bet him. <laughs> yes, sir. Who, yeah, who y'all got on? Got my who do y'all have? Take it to the cloud. Hey, this shit probably going to be out after the game happens. <laughs> we still going to ask that shit. Who y'all had y'all money on? But we, we, we can talk we can talk sports all 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 day. But I wanna I wanna segue into something because um while while we were editing, um Tony brought up a good point because you know he's a photographer and um with photography he has he has to deal with a whole bunch of shit. Shit that we probably don't even think of. Um and he brought up a major fact about like creep photographers messing up the game for the real ones. Yeah, I want you to elaborate wanna, on that. Yeah, alright, so I definitely wanna talk about that. So you know, in this in this age right now, like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know how it is, like, social media is booming. So, you know how always, like, it's always, like, sex sales and stuff like that. But when it comes to, like, photography, like, there's, like, a lot of, like, and I know this shit is, like, worldwide. Like, it's not, like, a, you know what I'm saying? For real, I think it's a, it could be a mental illness, but, like, you know what I'm saying? To the point where, like, there'd be, like, weird photographers that, like, all they do is shoot, like, females. Like, that's all they do. But, like, they'd be doing, like, really risky content you get what i'm saying so like risque titties yeah all that like you know what i'm saying but like if you doing all that like i'm just wondering 
if you are like, you know what I'm saying? Are you making that? Are you making that? Are you making money, dude? Like, you know what I'm saying? Or are you just, are you paying for everything? Like, are, if you're out there, basically, if you're out there just like, just trying to shoot females, you know what I'm saying? And like, be on some weird stuff. Hold on, you know hold on, real quick, real quick, before you get in your bag. Like, this is a public service announcement for Thrash Atizzi on his birthday. So for yes, you fuck ass motherfucking photographers out there doing that fuck shit, fuck with Calm bitches, that shit down, yo. We got the real ones out here yeah. trying to yeah. do this shit. Get this, get this they degrade, y'all degrading the, the quality of art. We degrade and you need to chill out. Shit. You need to chill out. Saying? But yeah, saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I could just, sometimes you could just kind of tell, like, there'd be certain photographers, like, how, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and the reason I say this is because I've been invited to a, a boat door shoot. You know what I'm saying? And that's like when girls wear, like, lingerie. You know what I'm saying? But it's like a group, it was a group of people. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, like, 10 girls and like, eight photographers, maybe a couple videographers. You know what I'm saying? All in the spot. You know what I'm saying? And, it was cool, you know what I'm saying? It was an experience. Like, I just use it, honestly, as a quota, you know what I'm saying, of how many different females I was going to shoot every year. You know what I'm saying? This is before pandemic, you feel me? But there's a lot of, like, big name photographers that do some weird stuff, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know how they really, for real, be doing business, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, if people, if a lot of people, like, do bad business, you know what I'm saying, do things like that, like, it's not, you're degrading the quality of the art, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's shameful, you feel me? Because, like, there's a lot of people that, like, try to create and are really about creating, you know what I'm saying? But it's not about, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just getting up, like, getting with a girl and getting her to ship, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, low, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we're going to do it, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, just make sure that you don't, like, you know what I mean? Like, don't mix business and pleasure. And that's one thing I've always been like, I've, like, st like strong, stern about. It's like don't mix business with pleasure. You know what I mean? For real, for real. And Thanks. don't be on no weird shit. Don't be on no pedophile shit. Don't be like on some rapist stuff. Like all that stuff. I'm so against stuff like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like I truly love photography. For real, for real. And I got that in in, in high school. But always like filming, skating, and shit. You feel what I'm saying? If you got dudes out here that just like, you know what I'm saying? Like going out there just to try to get girls. And, be on some weird shit, man. I wish I had to say it. Be on some weird shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit is whack, yo. Like whack for real. Like if you're fuck. if you're if you're literally out there like just trying to that's all you're trying to do is get girls and you out there like, you know what I'm saying, taking like, you know what I'm saying, like booking rooms and doing all like, you know what I'm saying, setting up like like weird ass shots, you know what I'm saying? Just for like to try to get at them and try to get like, you know what I'm saying, do some weird shit. That shit is whack, bro. Just don't do it. Mm -hmm. It's all about progression. For me, it's about progression. You feel what I'm saying? So we create it. You know what I mean? That's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? And me, Blue Flame, you know what I'm saying? Just we just business, you know what I'm saying? We're really out here just trying to get Blue Flame just like straight raw fire. Like, you know what I'm saying? Straight hot. You know what I'm saying? That, you know what I mean? My, I, I like to be more organic. You know what I mean? Like just show like real clean. Like I want shit to be clean, you know what I'm saying? Very presentable. You feel what I'm saying? But fire at the same time. You feel me? I feel that. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel that. And just don't, I don't like to, me personally, I don't like to box myself in when it comes to creativity, when it comes to pictures and like videos. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's a headache though, because you know, sometimes like the client won't like see things eye to eye. It could be miscommunications, it could be late payments, you know what I'm saying? It could be mis mis misunderstandings, um, disagreements, you know what I'm saying? And it's so much can happen within a, a transaction when it comes to this, like you, you really got to be on your toes, you feel what I'm saying? So it's, it's cool to always get to know, like, you know what I'm saying? Your business, like, you know what I'm saying? Your, your, your clients, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Building a, a relationship, a, a, a rapport with them, you know what I'm saying? Figuring out what they like, their colors, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What's their style like, you know what I'm saying? What's their, you know, anything, you know what I mean? Anything that could help bring whatever they are trying to accomplish to fruition. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I like. I like building brands up. You feel what I'm saying? It's cool to be with y'all because we're building each other up. And that's where we're going to build the city up as well. Because you can tell the city's changing. You know what I'm saying? But like, I'd rather focus on the good than the bad. Even though people be wilding, people wild out every day, all day across the world. But let's just focus on the good shit and just make fire content. That's all I ask. No I, weird shit. I feel that. No and, weird shit. And I, and I feel like that, that's a, a perfect way to to take it to the cloud. And that's episode two, man. As far as discussions go, we're about to get in our bag. We're about to have a special performance for you guys. 
Um, this is Showcase, Scratch Teasy. Sure. So um, just stay tuned after this break. Got a special performance for you. To the motherfucking cloud. Yes, sir. Teasy. Yeah. 